Hello YouTubers, I'm going to do a t uh, video on how to hook your laptop up to the TV. The only reason I'm doing it is because my TV here went bad. It's only 8 years old. RCA. And it went bad and I didn't realize this TV here has a a VGA port to it. Probably can't see it, but this is a VGA. And the way I used to do it is just hook up to the VGA and like my laptop here has a VGA, so I just hook this wire up, which here's the VGA cord, looks like that, VGA to the lap, from the laptop, VGA to the TV. Well, my TV went bad, so we bought another TV, a little bigger, Wi-Fi, everything, I'm thinking, cool, that's great. Now, the problem is, this wire don't work, and this TV don't come with a VGA connection. Okay, no big deal. I'm going to, got a smart TV here. Should be able to hook this computer up to it somehow with a new cord. So I go to Best Buy. Guess what? No. Can't find a cord, can't find any way to do it. I got two USB ports, so I thought maybe I could put a USB cord going to a HDMI or there's got to be something, but this computer won't work with that. So I got on Google and started looking up ways to do it. There's a few different ways. One's the Apple TV, but then you have to have all Apple components. I guess they have a new way that for a $10 app you can hook up to through Windows and do what's called uh, mirroring your desktop. And that's what we want to do because we like to watch videos. My nephew plays football, college football, and they broadcast it. It's just a community college, so we stream it to the TV. I used to do it with the VGA wire hookup. It was pretty easy, and it worked great. And my wife watches Glenn Beck TV, so instead of watching it on the computer, we can just... Just hooked it up to the VGA and streamed it to the TV. Worked great. But they have Apple TV and you have to have, with Apple TV, you'd have to have Wi-Fi because that's how it runs through Wi-Fi. And the components, you know, you need all Apple components. So I didn't go for that. They have the new Google Chromecast now too, which runs off Wi-Fi. With that, you got to use the Chrome browser to get to mirror your images, so that was a negative, but the price is good. So if you want to do that, that would work. The other way was I found at Walmart for about a hundred bucks is this little deal here. I can hook it, it's called the Diamond V Stream <coughs> PC to TV wirelessly. It also has a VGA port in case you had a VGA on your laptop or on your TV, which I don't, so I'm going to be plugging mine. This you can plug it right into an HDMI 
and then you use this to plug into your USB port so that's what I'm gonna do today this I went to Walmart and looked for this and I couldn't find it but you have to buy all this stuff online so I went to walmart.com and found it online Best Buy don't have anything I was all over the place Walmart Target everywhere it's hard to find this I think the best way to do it, do it is with a uh, if you have the newer laptops then you can just use a most of them have an HDMI connection so you could connect HDMI to HDMI on the TV and that that would be your best bet because all of these the Apple TV Chromecast and and this they all have lag time you know it's good for watching movies or things like that but it's gonna be slower than just a direct wire connection okay let's get started here there are other brands of these two uh, one of them's called V Beam HD and they broadcast you know 10 full 1080 HD and audio is high definition or uh, high definition also. So I'm no computer tech, but I'm just doing this because my TV blew up and the technology for all this stuff isn't quite there yet. So this is how I'm gonna plan on doing it right now is with this with this V stream right here. Also with these the V-Stream you don't need Wi-Fi. It'll mirror exactly what's on your laptop. Just like you're hooking it directly, you know, wired to the TV, but it's gonna do it wirelessly. Hey YouTubers, I'm gonna show you how to hook up PC to TV. Or, yeah, PC, my laptop, if you watched video one, my long, boring video about why I'm doing this. Go ahead and watch it if you want. But right now, we're just going to hook this up. This will be a quick video. Here's my, it's called the Diamond V-Stream. There's other ones you can buy. Other brands. One of them's called the V-Beam HD. If you watch video one, there's other ways to do it too, but I'm just going to do this Diamond B stream video for now. Open up the box, here's all the parts. We got the receiver, it has a VGA. If you have one on your TV, you can plug it into there. Otherwise, you can use a, this plugs into an HDMI too. I don't know if this is going to work yet, so you guys are going right along with me. I'm hoping it's going to work. Here's the receiver. You plug that into the TV. I'm going to do that now. And here's the, they give you a cord. It's a HDMI cord. So you plug it HDMI into there, HDMI into the TV. You don't, this is for the laptop or your, this is a USB connection. I don't have a HDMI on my laptop so I'm gonna have to use a USB connection and that comes with it do not put that in until you install this software first you have to install the software first I have Windows 7 on my laptop so they have directions I'm going with the follow the window read the directions and then you have, this is the power cord for the, the TV receiver part. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, there's the HDMI into the receiver and the power cord. There's the power cord and then there's the HDMI. That gets plugged in. There's the receiver with the antenna on back. And then you plug one into your 110 outlet. 
backwards. On the back of your TV, you got to go into a HDMI. Make sure you remember which one it is. This one has four of them. There's usually a number, so remember which one because you're going to have to go on your remote and switch to that input on your remote so you can get the get it on screen on the display. Okay, I'll do that now. Okay, I got HDMI plugged into number two, the H input. There's the, it's got a blue flashing light on the receiver. So far, that's what I got done. Okay, I'm installing the software. Do not plug this in yet. Install the software first. Just wanted to remind you. We'll see what happens here. Okay, you get a display, comes up, uh, there's different options. I'm, I have Windows 7, they have Windows 7, 8, Vista. I'm going to click on the Windows 7 since that's what I got. Okay, everything's done. The software's installed. The screen went black a few times, on and off. And then it just went to this. I was reading the directions said you might have to reboot the computer on some PC so that's what I did and I got the screen back up. Now I'm going to install the USB into my USB port. Let's see what happens. Installing device driver software. So now it's installing the driver software. Okay, that was installed, and there's a blue light on the USB there, and on the HDMI receiver, the light is not flashing anymore. That's the only evidence I see of anything that this might be working. I don't know if it's working yet, but. There was nothing installed on the desktop. Okay, once you install your USB transmitter into your laptop, it installs some more software and then you have to accept another agreement. Everything comes up. Now, take and remember we plug the HDMI input into input number two so you got to get your remote for your TV and put it on input two and there's your screen it's working there's the screen one thing I noticed the only where down here on the bottom right you can get to the Samsung audio video device right there and then you can play around a little bit with uh, like with the size of the screen and everything but that's it that's how you do it and it works I'm about eight feet away I got about 13 feet away and it was still working pretty good you can't get in front of it and you can't put it in another room it has to stay in the same room and in in line with the receiver to the TV a lot of, I heard a lot of other people say it gets really hot but I had it running for about a half hour and it just, it wasn't hot at all. It's just a little bit warm like any other electrical component. There it is. Thanks YouTubers.